are the Malvern Hills. Join us as Jackie and I explore them from one end to the other. It's pretty awesome. We started off from the British Camp car park and headed up loads of steps. Look at that. Then as we got to the top of the path, we turned to the right. We're going up to what I guess is one of the most recognisable parts of the Malvern Hills, the British camp. And it's thought that it dates back from maybe 3,500 years ago in the Bronze Age. <laughs> to the top here but the view's worth it most definitely We're heading down from British Camp. We are going to then go along towards the Pink Cottage and towards the Giant's Cave. And uh, onward we go for after that, which turns into a bit of adventure because um, we don't actually know where we're going at one point. Now heading down this way, just past the giant's cave. So we're going up there, up to the top of that hill now. Just so awesome with this view behind. It's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Great way to keep fit as well. Fantastic way to keep fit and to be out in the fresh air, which um, you know, at the moment is much better than being up somewhere. It's just fantastic. I better go and catch up with Jack's diversion and meat. Oh look at that tree. Traversing the cross. Whoa. Yeah, keep on looking. Yeah. We're hoping to be heading for the hill, but we're not quite sure. Just be careful of my footing on these. We've just walked around the quarry. Look at that. Look how the water has eroded this path away. We're now on our way to Midsummer Hill. That's if we can find it. I'm sure we can. How hard can it be to find a hill? Walk from over there. Just go 
difficult to go up to there, to this hill. <laughs> map. <laughs> oh. So if we, if we trot down, if we try and do it as quick as we can. Okay. Yeah. Midsummer Hill. So coming down from Midsummer Hill, we did that kilometre in 11 minutes. We then made our way up the path to the left and up to the obelisk. When work was started at Eastnall Castle, this obelisk was also built and it was built in 1812 and it is listed grade two. It's a monument to various distinguished members of the Summers Cox family. Oh. Inscribed in the memory of James Cox Ensign in the Guards. He was the only surviving issue of James Cox Esquire Elders. Okay, just heading back down now from the obelisk. That looks absolutely stunning. Hello. So we're now going on three choirs away. Up here. Up to the top. So we went down there to the quarry, cut across, went up to that hill, midsummer hill, and then went along up to the obelisk and then come back down through the woodland. I'm back here. I certainly didn't expect it to be so hot today. It's absolutely boiling. But it doesn't mean we've got such beautiful views. So back at the point, the Gullet Quarry and Midsummer Hill. And then back up this way. and past the giant's cave. So we're back at the bottom of the first hill we came down. Honestly. So we're going a different way? Yeah, a different way, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. Good. Do you know what these flowers are? But they're beautiful. Leave a comment below if you know what those are. We might buy the rest one eye. Just back to the car park. This was our Strava map, 6.24 miles and an elevation gain of 1,573 feet. Awesome hike. Thanks, Jax.